Hallelujah, great and mighty God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Good day, I am Claudia Parolan, coming again from the Living Faith Tabernacle Church in the British Virgin Islands. Hallelujah. I will be praying for the pastors for the Pentecostal churches in the British Virgin Islands. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, I come before your throne of grace, Almighty God, to lift up the pastors of the Pentecostal churches in the British Virgin Islands before you. Almighty God, everlasting Father, according to your word in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 11 to 12, and you give some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfection of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Father, you are the one that called your people. You are the one that called the pastors to this post, mighty God, for a season and a time as this, Lord God. And you call the pastors, O oh God, to perfect the saints, mighty God, who are your people according to the works of the ministry. Almighty God, I place them into your hands today, Lord God. I pray, God, that you will continue to open their eyes, O oh God, for them to see what you are saying or what you want them to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray they will continue to look to you, mighty God, whence come up their help. Father, I pray this day, O oh God, for the discernment of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, I pray that they will have eyes to see and ears to hear what the word of the Lord is saying to the children of the Most High God as to edifying of the body of Christ. Mighty God, everlasting Father. I bring them into your hands, Lord God. You know everything about them, mighty God. According to your word in the book of Simon. 2 Timothy 2, sorry, 2 Timothy 4, verse 2, your word decree and declare that it was preached the world to the, in, to the instant, in season and out of season. Mighty God, you must reprove, rebuke, O oh God, and exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. My God, we pray that when your pastors come before your throne of grace, when they bring the word to your people, O oh God, that they will have to reprove their mighty God and rebuke the plans of the adversary in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray that they would exalt your name because Lord God Almighty, there's not one like unto you. There's not one to compare to you. You are the most high God and Jehovah is your name. Almighty God, everlasting Father, I pray in no other name but the name of your precious son Jesus Christ that they will turn to you mighty God those are the one you call mighty God those are the shepherd to lead your flock and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ they will not lead your flock astray I pray oh God as your word decree and declare that they will give them the doctrine mighty God that they need to know oh God in order to conduct their lives that they're living father you know all things you see all things my God nothing is missing from you and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and declare that Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon form against, no weapon form against your people, not one will prosper. It may form, but I know for sure, according to your word, mighty God, it will not prosper. And every tongue that tries to rise up in judgment before your people, it will be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ, because that's your word, mighty God, and we stand on your word. Word. Father God, your word declares, O oh God, today that it is done. O oh God, heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word, mighty God, will remain forever. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord and Savior, soon coming King, that your people would adhere to your voice. They will hearken unto the voice of the Lord, because we know, my God, at this very same time and at this very same season, there will be miracles, there will be signs, and one does taking place in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, your word decree and declare you did not give your people a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and power and love and a strong mind. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ today, Lord God, they will turn to you, Father God, whence cometh your help. My God, I pray your people, O God, which are called by your name, shall humble themselves, mighty God, before your throne. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they will turn 
turn to you, O God. They will not turn to no other God, for all the other gods are the works of men. For you are the great high priest, you are the most high God, and there is none like you. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that when your pastors, mighty God, come forth with the word, my God, it will come forth with power, it will come forth with demonstration, mighty God, because we are the one to demonstrate the works of the God in the kingdom of the earth, mighty God. Ah, oh, hallelujah, great and mighty God, Father. We trust in you, Lord God, with all that we have, and we lean not unto our own understanding, because you ask us to acknowledge you for who you are, and you will direct us, and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will order the steps of the pastors of this territory, you will direct them, mighty God. I pray, oh God, that your will will be done. Oh God, your will will be done on this earth as it is in heaven, on behalf of your children, my God. For Father God, I want to give you thanks for you are God. You see and you know all things, oh God. We thank you for being God all by yourself. We thank you that you are the God that never sleep. We thank you you're the unshakable. We thank you that you're unchangeable and movable. We thank you that you're the only wise God and most powerful God. And we stand on your word. I place each and every pastor before you, mighty God. I place every apostle, every ministry, oh God. Every evangelist, will you call them forth, mighty to God to do your will, to do your work, to edify the body of Christ. And Father God, I thank you for calling them and for using them to help your people here on the earth. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise because of who you are. We give you the glory and we give you the honor because there's not one like you. Almighty God, everlasting Father, you are indeed the Prince of Peace. And we thank you, mighty God. Father God, your word is true. Your word is powerful. Your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. And we stand on it today, mighty God, knowing that we, mighty God, shall receive the grace greater love with no other greater love that is in you mighty God and we shall receive it father as your king and queens my God I want to say thank you for what you have done and what you will continue to do among the lives of your pastors and of your people now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the sweet Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide in your people now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name with thanksgiving as we seal this prayer with the spirit and the water and the blood of Jesus. Father, we say thank you and amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.